after repeated cries by residents in that area for better policing and quicker responses by ranks of the Guyana Police Force GPF when crimes are committed or in progress, it was determined that Parfait Harmony was in dire need of its own police station. Top Cop Leslie James during the commissioning ceremony stated that it's expected that this new station and the ranks stationed there will aid in keeping crime on the low in that area. Is a clear display of the fact that we are all serious to deal with the issue of crime, to deal with the issue of protecting our citizens in the length and breadth of this great nation. So today, being here to witness this simple but important ceremony, which is the commissioning of the Parfait Harmony Police Station. August well for the force, it August well for the country. Meanwhile, Deputy Police Commissioner Paul Williams, who has responsibility for the GPF's administration department, pointed out that the move to construct and open a police station in that community was carefully considered. With all our analysis, with all our inspection, and with all that we would have done from a security standpoint, recognize it is very important and critical for this community. Without law, there will be lawlessness. Without a police station, it simply means that definitely can contribute to chaos, public disorder, and even to some amount extent, an increase in crime. Additionally, Public Security Minister Kemraj Ramjatan noted that this brand new police station is better equipped with a modernized layout. He added that the ranks who operate there will be in a better position to do their duties of serving and protecting citizens. The construction of Parfait Harmony police station was done in two phases and uh, totaling $65 million, 487000 and that work entailed the construction of the complete building that you have with male and female barrack rooms, area dedicated to domestic violence, a room for that, an ID parade room with a one-way viewing glass for the protection of witnesses and victims, and a modernized lockup. Reporting for the Evening News, I am Kristen McLingham.